Hi guys, um, today I have several updates and uh, first of all I wanted to say a word of thanks because uh, my last life I have kind of professional uh, loneliness and uh, for these several weeks I received so many uh, positive feedback and like any kind of feedback and uh, it feels like priceless and I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, to uh, communicate in this way and yeah so I just thank you all for uh, sharing your thoughts and uh, watching my videos the second part is related to my first uh, contributor i uh, never had anyone so uh, the guy uh, with the nickname g o l x d n uh, great, uh, did a great job on uh, um, like resolving some of the issues that i had with the building and compiling project for windows and linux like um he started to use uh, cmake and like he ported all my uh pro project uh, on st to cmake and uh it's also something new for me because on my like pad projects i always used to just make files config configuration and now, of course, it's much more uh, flexible and uh, easier to uh, use. And uh, hopefully when I have time to resolve some uh, Windows render uh, problems, uh, everyone can like uh, launch it on uh, their uh, Windows machines. So I hope I will do it maybe next week. Yeah, and I guess like uh, we can just go through new folder structure uh, and then I will show you what I did uh, yes so the project is basically how it was but better and uh, he did amazing like uh, folder structure so like how now I have like engine with a uh, code and lib sources also I have uh, demos that are uh, pointing us to Linux and Windows main files that will launch some kind of like engine demo. This also he also added git ignore file because I didn't like I I just I, ju I just didn't make it in time and like now I have it and uh, no more garbage in my git. Also assets folder with uh, my levels, uh, models, shaders and textures, folders, and yeah, so it's kind of like this. Not much changed. I also have now loop function where all the game loop logic goes. Like all this like editor and game modes. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Let's check out what I made for this week okay so uh, I added a basic camera movement also it's like uh, also it's super stupid now uh, I was using uh, mostly code from learn OpenGL and I wasn't spending much time on it but I can uh, test some basic movement and um, work with it later i also added a perspective grid uh, which makes me super happy and i think it is like amazing i hope you can see it and yeah looks like you can yeah i can move and fly around and doing stuff and uh from my understanding it is like basically unity and like I just fucked up Unity and uh, Unreal Engine and uh, you can like yeah go uh, down yeah and just look at this it is amazing amazing and I really like how it looks uh, if you don't mind I will spend some time on presenting you this work so you can like experience what I do 
Yeah, and... Uh, if you are wondering, second level still works. I can still do stuff here and I can come back here. And yeah, it's totally crazy. Uh, so let's get back uh, to the code. I will briefly go over uh, it and just uh, uh, will try to understand how it uh, how it is possible to have a, such amazing engine. So um, mm, mm, I added a camera class, uh, which now. Uh, contains all this like set position, set direction stuff. Also, uh, I am setting uh, world up, up, front, right, uh, directions, all this stuff. And uh, the mathematic is going like in the CPP file. I'm also checking movement in my uh, uh, window loop uh, routine and uh, just doing the basic math. Uh, for moving and rotating camera. Uh, also, what else I have uh, here? I created a uh, uh, new pipeline for my debug grid stuff. I am not using any meshes. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, de defining uh, vertex positions inside the shader as we do like when you are starting to learn Vulkan and you are trying to draw your first triangle. So I have here it here defined. I am basically using clip space uh, projections and I first of all uh, doing a projection uh, positions and in fragment shader I have my all this uh, grid uh, calculation and drawing. Um, I also wanted to have some level of detailization, but I didn't manage to make it right now. I will do it in the future. Um, what is also interesting here? I also created uh, better uh, stuff for, uh, like I, I created headers for my uh, fragment and vertex shaders. And for example, I have uh, helpers where I put uh, all my uh, mathematical uh, stuff that I'm using. It is actually like what I found on the internet, but they didn't use yet. I'm using this linearization of depth. And uh, yeah, I put it here. Uh, also, I have now in other shaders for sprites and models, I have uh, vert uh, for vertex def definitions uh, header and also fragment definition header and i uh, i just wanted to make it beautiful and because i didn't like all this like layouts and like camera data where i put, was putting all the uh, all again again and again so i just make it like this you know it's clean nice uh uh yeah and i like it so it's like for example oi, oi, oi. Uh, yeah so it's for, for the fragment i use it like this and for uh, vertex i use it like this um uh, what else i also have to uh figure out in the future uh, how to deal with the uh, multiple render passes because now i uh call it uh all my uh drawing uh, procedures for one render pass which uh, uh has uh color and depth attachment and i don't think that i need for my debug grid stuff uh any depth attachments i just have to uh make beautiful uh, dropping for uh, render passes uh for starting and finishing them okay uh so um, i guess that's all for today and uh, just uh, so you can uh, you know looking forward for look forward for something else uh, next week i will try to make uh, windows uh, compilation work and uh, i hope uh, as much people will be able to run my engine and uh, see you next time. Bye.